New information tonight in the search for who killed Caitlin Markham. Passersby discovered the young woman's remains along Big Cedar Creek Road in Cedar Grove, Indiana, one year ago. And tonight, searchers combed that same spot again, trying to find clues they need to close this case. The search follows police receiving what they describe as a credible tip. Not on your side, reporter Amy Wattis has the latest. While Caitlin Markham's death was ruled a homicide in August of last year, investigators still don't know how Markham died or who killed her. That's why search crews combed through the area where her remains were found in hopes that her father can finally have the closure he deserves. They have been my support group for the past you know, nearly three years, so without them, I'm not sure how it would have been able to cope. Dave Markham is talking about Texas EquiSearch, a search group that spent countless hours searching for his daughter, Caitlin, since she went missing from her Fairfield home in August 2011. And Saturday, they were at it again, trying to find new clues. Basically, we were just going over some ground that ISP has asked us to go over, um, just to tidy up a few things, nothing specific, but just as precautionary, just to make sure that nothing was missed. Uh, over the past year. Raider says Texas EquiSearch has been working hand in hand with the Indiana State Police on the Markham case. Around 15 searchers worked at the site where Markham's remains were found last April from 8:30 in the morning until dusk. It's very tedious. I mean, you, you, you know, when you're when you're coming through a uh, basically a dump site as this was, um, you're, you're finding a lot of rock. You're finding a lot of people's garbage. It's been an emotional day. Dave Markham tries to come out to this spot every few months. He says he wants to put this all behind him, but he can't until Caitlin's killer is behind bars. Still a little lot of answers, unanswered questions. I'm not going away. Dave Rader with Texas EquiSearch says they'll turn over any clues he and his searchers find to the Indiana State Police. Amy Wattis, Nine on Your Side.